Hey guys, I am out enjoying this beautiful day. So I'm back to talk to you about the lesson that the Lord placed on my heart early this morning coming from Matthew 22 and it's the parable of the wedding banquet. It is so amazing this story. And I pray that God gives us all ears to hear what the living God is saying. So I'm gonna be coming to you from Matthew 22. Jesus spoke to them in again in parable saying the kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son he sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to that to tell them to come but they refused to come and in this scripture it says that the wedding feast was for his son in honor of his son who else could that be but Jesus Christ and the Bible says that the King our Father the Most High God he sent his servants he sent his prophets to invite them to the banquet feast to sit at the table but they refused him you see the invitation was given to God's people the very people that called them, that God called to himself the chosen but so many that were called did not choose God they came up with every excuse why they could not accept the call and how many do that you know there is a scripture that says within this uh, chapter that many are called but few are chosen and I think that's really critical for us to take a hold of it says then he sent more servants and said tell those who have been invited that i have prepared my dinner my oxen and fattened cattle have been butchered and everything is ready come to the wedding banquet but they paid no attention and went off one to his field another to his business the rest seized his servants mistreated them and killed them the king was enraged he sent his army and destroyed those murderers and burned their city this is just a representation that god is sending his prophets he's sending his servants to all of the world of all the nations to share the good news but too many don't have ears to hear too many kill the servants of God and this doesn't have to be physically this can be with the, their words this can be with their actions this can be because they turn away from the truth that they don't have ears to hear what the living God is saying but their heart is callous In verse 8 it says, Then he said to his servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those I invited did not deserve to come. So go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. So the servants went to the street corners and invited anyone they could find to come. The bad as well as the good and the wedding hall was filled with guests. So we see that they invited everybody. The invitation to come to Christ was open to all. The good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty. We all have the opportunity to accept that Jesus Christ is our righteousness, our salvation. We all have the invitation to accept him as Lord and Savior of our lives. But not all will accept. And we see this in the parable of the wedding feast. But when the king came to see the guest, he noticed the man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. He asked, how did you get in here without wedding clothes, friend? The man was speechless. Then the king told the attendants, tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are invited but few are chosen 
And this just represents those who try to come any way other than through Christ. He is the way, the light, and the truth. This person that came in did not have the proper garments. They were not clothed in the righteousness that can only be found in Christ. Maybe they had a form of godliness, but denied the power of God. Maybe they were lukewarm in the way they lived for him. But when they came to the wedding feast, all were invited, but only those who surrendered to Christ, only those who surrendered their, their will for his, will be able to stand in the last day. For it is by Christ Jesus that we are redeemed. And we see at this wedding ceremony, he was honoring his son. So no one that disrespects the Lord Jesus Christ, no one who hasn't accepted him as the great sacrifice, as their great redeemer, will be able to stand in the congregation of the righteous. I think this is very powerful for us to understand. We don't ever want to be lukewarm in our walk with God, but we want to make sure that we accept the call when he cries out to us. Many are chosen, many are called, I should say, but few are chosen. All right, guys, I will see you soon. I just wanted to come and drop that small little word to you. And I pray that as always, it encourages you to walk in the light. All right, guys, love you.